we're going to wrap up our discussion of two-factor ANOVAs by bringing up another kind of t-test, which we didn't actually look at. It's called a paired t-test. A paired t-test is not the same thing as a t-test of means. In a paired t-test, you are comparing pairs of things that share some characteristic, like being a part of the same block, either two values where each value comes from the same person or the same location or the same day. So the pairing in a paired t-test is equivalent to the blocking that we talked about in ANOVA. And when you run the paired t-test, you're actually looking to see whether the difference between the pairs of things is greater than or less than zero, not whether two groups of those things differ from each other. If you run a paired t-test, then what you will find is that you get the same result as you do if you do a two-factor ANOVA with blocking. If the fixed effect has only two levels, which would correspond to the values that were being measured in the paired t-test, and also if you have a balanced design in your ANOVA, which would be the equivalent of having one value in the pair for each other value in the pair. We can make this comparison between paired t-test and ANOVA with blocking using a variation on the experimental file that we've been playing around with. This particular one includes only the red and green numbers and does not include the blue one. The red measurement for block A is paired in the t-test with the green value for block A and so on. Green B is paired with red B, etc. When we run the t-test, we find that the p-value comparing red and green is 4.19 times 10 to the minus 5. To carry out the equivalent ANOVA with blocking, we're going to use the same linear model with blocking, same mixed model formula as we did before. The only difference is that now our data frame is going to only have two color levels instead of three. Well, let's run that and then run the ANOVA. We see that the p-value that we get from the ANOVA is also 4 times 10 to the minus 5 the same number that we got for the paired t-test. And in a similar manner, when we compared the t-test of means to a single factor ANOVA, we saw that the value of f, which is calculated in the ANOVA, is the square of the value of t calculated in the t-test. So that shows us that for the cases where we have a balanced design these two methods produce exactly the same result.